a major bust today by the NYPD and the Manhattan DA. It involved gangs, social media, and debit cards. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now to explain. Dick. Well, Maurice and Christine, it's called debit card cracking. The district attorney says the defendants deposited fake checks and then the money was withdrawn before the bank noticed and they allegedly targeted young people on social media to get their bank information and get them to join the scheme to make a quick buck. They were pitching a lavish lifestyle for anyone who wanted it. These photos allegedly posted on Instagram and Snapchat of people living the high life, sitting in high-priced cars, and flashing wads of cash. The idea, join us and join in the fun and in the money. What the defendants are selling is, uh, is a fast money lifestyle. Uh, gentlemen in a hot tub, you know, easy money, a scheme that's designed to attract I'd say younger folks who are looking to make a quick buck. So here's how it worked. The people who were drawn in were bank account holders who handed over their debit cards and bank information in exchange for the promise of money. Sometimes they were given a minimal amount up front, a few hundred dollars, and promised thousands later. The essential pitch is if you give me your debit card and thus access to your bank account, I'm going to deposit some checks into that account. I'm going to take the money out, and you're going to get part of that money. Later on, just report your card lost or stolen, make a police report. No one will ever find out that you did this. Don't worry about it. Those those checks that were deposited were counterfeit, but the money was drawn out before the checks bounced, thus defrauding the banks. In total, in this case, the defendants deposited more than $2.5 million in counterfeit checks and then successfully drew a million dollars from that $2.5 million. More than 650 separate bank accounts at seven banks were used to carry out the scheme. Police say the group was clearing between thirty dollars and $40,000 a week, and so far, 39 people are charged. It's a big-time case. High-end vehicles, four we grabbed this morning, a Porsche, uh, two BMWs, and an Infiniti sedan. You see what they're, what they're selling, and these young people are actually buying into it. Now, most of the case was focused on Staten Island, where 31 of the defendants live. The ringleaders are charged, but the DA says that some 650 account holders who gave over their information have not been charged as of now. But, Christina Maurice, the investigation, we are told, is continuing. So elaborate. Dick. Unbelievable. Yeah. Yes, thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Dick.